Mr. Nguyen. Number 12. In cell Q3, nest the existing VLOOKUP function in cell Q3 in an if air function. So cell Q3 already have the VLOOKUP function. And what this function is doing is looking up this staff ID 1036 within this range. And here's 1036. It's going to be able to look up this range, find 1036, the staff ID, and return the text Oscar Alberts. That is the staff member. And we see Oscar Alberts in cell Q3. However, sometimes in a VLOOKUP, it's not able to locate or find the staff ID. As an example, let's delete 1036 in cell A20. So delete that. Now we see that the VLOOKUP function shows an error message. It shows NA. However, we don't want it to show NA. If it has an error, we want it to show invalid staff ID. We can do that by using the if error function. We nest the VLOOKUP function inside the if error function. So therefore, type if error, press the tab key. At the end here, type comma, then the text within quotation mark, invalid staff ID. Close parentheses. So this function is saying, do a VLOOKUP, look up Q2 in this range, and find the exact match. If not able to find, do not show the error. Instead of showing the error NA, show invalid staff ID. And that's based on using the if error function. If there's an error, then show invalid staff ID. Press enter. And there we see invalid staff ID. Remember to go back to cell A20 and key back in the staff ID 1036. We had deleted it before just to test the if error function.